What's going on, everybody? The Iceman here. Yeah, on the Iceman B2013 YouTube channel. It is Wednesday. It is July 13th, 2016. Okay, so we got it pretty well figured out. Shane McMahon is going to be the commissioner on SmackDown Live. He's going to pick a general manager. Um, there's a lot of rumors flying around. Uh, I'm not going to mention uh, anybody's names because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, so what this leads me to believe, we're not going to see like Shane... Uh, on a continual basis, on a, on a weekly basis all the time, because he will have a general manager to run the show. Um, but I do see a lot of interesting things that could happen here, whereas Shane being the boss of SmackDown and having the general manager, that somewhere along the line there's going to be a conflict, which could create some interesting kind of things. So, But anyway... What did everybody think about uh, Enzo and Big Cass going up against the, the club? Anderson and Gallows, and have AJ Styles involved, and then Cena coming out, and now they set up for a, a six-man tag match at Battleground. I think this is going to be a pretty good match. I like Enzo and Big Cass. Um, those are two guys that I would like to see get the tag team title somewhere down the road. They're fun to watch. And I think this is a good thing for both them and John Cena because the fans do like Cass and Enzo. And this might help the popularity of John Cena a little better because he is one of those guys that we all know. Let's go Cena. Cena sucks. And to me, that's a great thing for Cena because he gets attention either way. And I'd like to see Cena more involved in things. Here in the WWE. Um, yeah. You know. His theme song. My time is now. You know. Um, this has been. Him. It's really been him. Since the. Got past the thug thugonomic days. The ruthless aggression days. And he became the John Cena. Uh, the never give up John Cena, the one that all the kids love, all the, all the women love, but the one that, you know, the adults, the male adults have an issue with because, oh, he's super Cena. Well, the WWE needed to establish somebody like that um, because of what they had for talent. You lost the likes of The Rock and Austin and Kurt Angle. Uh, you still had the Jerichos around. And you had Randy Orton, who was one of the biggest heels uh, in 2000. You know, from the year two, when, he, when he came in in, what, 2003, all the way up, you know, till the last um, few years. Randy Orton was one of the, the biggest heels that WWE had. He was involved in evolution. He was involved in legacy. And those were some really superior days for Randy Orton. But, um, yeah, Enzo and Big Cass and John Cena against Gallows, Anderson, and AJ Styles at Battleground. What this leads me to believe is I honestly see... Cena, Big Cass, and Enzo getting the win at Battleground because I think this is setting up the fact that Cena and AJ will culminate at SummerSlam, whereas probably, because John does have a lousy record at SummerSlam, that probably AJ Styles will go over on John Cena. So since Cena's come back, he's had his beatdowns, he needs to get some positive victory over this group. You can't you can't take the guy that was the face of the place for the last 10, 12 years and just totally have him constantly get beat. And we've seen this happen to him in the past with CM Punk. Um, 
most recently with Seth Rollins, although Cena did beat Rollins to regain the United States belt back, which he should have, you know, Rollins never should have gotten it in the first place. I don't know what the WWE creative was thinking back then. They just wanted to make Rollins look like Superman. And do we like people that are like Superman? Not the WWE universe. If, if you're a face and you're a Superman, you're in trouble. The fans nowadays are usually behind the heels, except for the likes of the Daniel Bryan, or except for the likes of the Dean Ambrose. So, getting back quickly to the GMs, who do you think is going to be GM for Monday Night Raw and for Tuesday Night SmackDown? A lot of names are thrown out there. You know, I've even heard the name of Eric Bischoff. I've heard the name of Daniel Bryan. One only has to wonder. Anyhow, on that note, everybody have yourself a great Wednesday. I got a great job interview on Friday. I'm pretty much in. Very excellent paying job. Um, things have been looking up for the Iceman in recent weeks. And... Hopefully, sometime soon down the road, the Iceman comes back, I mean, on a full-time basis, like he was about a year ago. So, anyway, guys, have yourself a great day. We'll see you all next time.